Welcome to my review of the Thorfire TK4A LED torch. This is a new torch that I have in for testing. I'm just showing you the boxed contents that are included here. There's an eco-friendly packaging with this particular torch. Now looking at the manual, this lists out the power modes and the peak intensity of around about 11,600. So I'm expecting a fairly wide beam from this torch. Also note we have a super low one lumens moonlight mode too. Listing out the information here is the warranty. You get two years with this particular one. And looking at the hand strap, pretty good. Decent quality of a bobble section there in the middle and uh, plastic mold on the end. Bit of stretch to that. And you also get two spare O-rings included too. Looking at the holster now, to be honest, this is quite basic and I'm a bit disappointed. It's quite a poor quality holster. It's just very basic materials put together and the stitching's fairly poor as well. So I'm really not sure how long that's going to last. A uh, bit of a disappointment on that side. It holds the torch and that's about it. Can't really say much else about it. Um, when you put the torch in, it does fit okay. I'll give it that point and you have the Velcro fastening and a belt loop on the back. Pretty poor, I think the torch deserves a better holster than this, that's a major point for me. Um, inside the reflector, smooth reflector, you see a Cree XPL LED. And then just looking over the body, the torch is actually very well made, uh, feels nicely constructed, you've got a nice fine pattern on the grip area, it's nice and comfortable in the hand. Um, I've no real complaints at all about it in that regard. For the price, this is about sort of 40, 45 dollars, 40 pounds. It's mid-level, smooth on the base, but you'll see the three mouldings there so it can stand upright. Quite a fine thread on this, so you unscrew that. And you have the four compartments for the AA cells, and you'll see the markings there on the side. Now this section, the cap, rotates around. You'll see the two brass pins there. Now you need to align those with the two holes on the torch. Can be a little bit fiddly perhaps in the dark, but you can feel your way through that and then you just screw it up normally as you would do. Testing different cells, didn't have any problems with size or fit, even with slightly oversized AAs. So I'd definitely go with nickel metal hydride if you can um, for longevity over the alkalines, but you can use them. Now the operation, very straightforward. Four main power levels cycling through those single presses. and to activate the strobe mode you can double press now this is the moonlight mode which is a super low one lumens and we'll show you that a bit more detail shortly and attaching the strap straps pretty good it's quite a strong strap and you can still position it upright it's not quite as stable they maybe could have made that a section uh, slimmer on the strap but it's okay now when the power level drops under 60 percent the amber LED comes on. This stays on all the time, the power level indicator on this particular one, and it goes to red when you're under 15%, giving you an idea of uh, that you're low on power. Just looking at the moonlight now, you might wonder how useful this is, but it's actually bright enough that you could read a map or see some documentation or something at very close range, so I think it's actually quite a handy mode to have. This is comparing the uh, Thorfire to the TR20, the Rofus. You see the Thorfire on the left is a warmer and it's slightly more concentrated in the middle, whereas the um, Rofus on the right is a bit more spread out. Waterproof test, IPX8 rating on this, and you can operate underwater as well. It works perfectly fine, no problems. Now onto the Thorfire. This is about 100 foot. Good beam intensity on this. Quite a nice spread too. It's um, moving out towards the peripheral edges and I'll cycle through the power levels to show you that there. So it's definitely living up to its power claims around about 1100 lumens. I'm on the Rofus now. You can see immediately it's a cooler light and the intensity is more evenly distributed and that's reflected in the intensity rating of both torches. The Rofus is rated slightly less because it's spreading out its uh, power more evenly in the beam. We're back on the Thorfire again. It's definitely a warmer light than most of the LED torches that I've tested. That's not something that particularly bothers me. It's just I just noted that during testing. And we're on to the Rofus. You can see a more even distribution of the light. 
is a less intense area in the central region. They both have a similar spread, uh, slightly more real world on the Thorfire outside than the Rofus. Now we're zooming in, starting off with the Thorfire, and now we're on to the Rofus. And then back to the Thorfire. So you have a bit more range on the TK4A. Again, the Thorfire and onto the Rofus. So even though the power levels are similar, the Thorfire is concentrating it a bit more in the middle area. At closer range now, about seven or eight foot, TK4A first, and then we're on to the Rofus. The same pattern again is repeated, spreading the light out. Now one thing I did notice is that the TK4A will drop its power level down after about three minutes and the Rofus, you can see here I'm switching between the two, the Rofus can hold its high power level a bit longer. So that's not something that was a huge issue, but it's something to bear in mind. So you have a three minute timer on the maximum level. Right, a couple of thoughts and conclusions with the TK4A. I actually quite like this torch. The torch itself is excellent, good power output, nice beam pattern. Uh, the three color LED was also a nice touch. Fit and finish was good and you've got good power levels and a super low one lumen mode. The downside is the poor quality holster. It really deserves a much better holster than you get with this model. Um, I think so anyway. And you have a single power source, just AA. Not sure that's a huge problem, but some of these models do offer a dual power source for them. But overall, the torch is actually quite a nice one if you can overlook the poor included holster.